Yeah, so this is a defensive operator, ABC, um, case security. So the first, uh, the, the procedure is to find the wearable S, which is similar to the 2D case, uh, to wearable case. You just A, the coefficient times the coordinate AX plus B times Y plus C times Z. Right? And then uh, now you, you treat it like a vector, so like a vector, like a bracket, A, B, and C, like in a coordinate system, like uh, this X, Y, Z, like the unit vector. Then you choose two other vectors. Uh, why is this? Why you like that? So this, what it, what it means is this is just alpha alpha two y this alpha two b and this is theta one x plus theta two y plus theta three. Right. But what you require is I treat it like a vector, and then you you choose the alpha and beta such that. Uh, they are all orthogonal to each other. So S dot T would be this one. So A times alpha one, plus B times alpha two, plus B times alpha three, this is zero. And then S dot U, S dot U would be this one, would be zero. And then T dot U would also be zero. Okay. And because you have six variables and or three, three equations, so that usually you have able to find one and you have some freedom to choose your coordinate out of the, the coefficient and usually you choose it like uh, depends on other part of the potential equation you treat it maybe make it easier but anyway we'll, we'll try to, to see if this is uh reducing to uh, just a single uh, what a derivative with respect to a single variable basically s and so to do that uh we will need to get all the partial derivative. We did that before, I think last time, the partial partial part x would be, because now x is, uh, you can invert this, all this uh, relation, x will be a function of s, t, and u, right? So uh, basically you, you're doing like a chain rule, so like partial s, uh, Parcel x and then uh, parcel parcel s and then this parcel s parcel u parcel t parcel parcel x parcel parcel t u parcel x parcel v right this this the usual chain rule then. Then uh, and I'll just use this definition. This is a, this is uh alpha one. This is a beta one. Oh. And then similarly, one would be let's follow the same procedure. We will now we know the we should write down the answer is B part of S plus alpha two part of two twenty two right so just the same thing part of C C part of two Right. Now then uh, you substitute all this parcel parcel x parcel 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 z into the differential operator. So that means uh, this thing. You can substitute it into here. So the idea is now you can group all the uh, partial derivative with respect to S, T, and U. So for S, basically it's A, and then you have another A, so there's A squared. Then you have B, and the here is a B squared. So partial Y times X. Right? 
So that's a puzzle puzzle S. So we want puzzle puzzle T. So we have plus. Now you have a uh, A, and then this is alpha. Uh, yeah, this is uh, this is alpha one, and then the other one is alpha two. Mm -hmm. yeah. The third one is alpha three. This is alpha five times three. And similarly, this into here you get a into one and b into two c into three. Okay. And the this two will be zero actually just from this two, right? So that will be zero. And that will be zero. As it turns out that uh, actually this is not used. <laughs> the last one is not used. You only need these two. So there's this one you don't actually need that. As long as they are not uh, uh Oh, parallel to each other. If they're parallel to each other, they're just proportionally each other. So you, you get you don't get an extra variable, you don't get two variables. I mean it is as long as they are not dependent on each other, they're not proportional to each other. Right. And, you know, um, so therefore these two terms are zero. So differential operator will be just uh, okay. Yeah. Is that okay? Yeah. So, so like a, a simple example is that uh, like uh, the choice because you have quite a lot of freedom, you can an easy choice would be like uh, t is t is this B minus A zero. That would make that would make this work, right? Right. If this is B, this is minus A, and this is zero, then it automatically make it. So the first one is much easier to choose than the uh, now the U the beta will be a, uh, you can treat it like a, a, a Web cross border basically yes. say so, uh, so a s is a b c right so uh, if you treat it like a cross border then uh, s cross so you can choose you know, like symbolically it's just like s cross b. So the x component will be b times alpha three minus c c times alpha two, right? And alpha three is chosen to be zero, so we only have minus c alpha two, which is minus a. And so it's equal c x c times a, right? And likewise. Uh, Beta two will be say like uh, c times alpha one, and then minus a times alpha three, which is zero. So the c times alpha one, which is b. Right. And then finally, the beta three will be a times alpha two minus b times alpha one. Okay. And this is minus, this is minus a, so a times this is minus a, this times that is the b times i, is b square, so minus, minus b square. Right? And you can, you can check whether that would be actually a function of the h1, function of the a, b, c, so a 
a times is equal to c times a square. And then this is b times that is c square. I, I forgot here. Yes, I forgot the c. Uh, oh, I forgot the c. This one is that. Maybe this one. Uh, no. Uh, this times that. This times that. Minus this times. Uh, S cos T or S cos is A, B, C. Uh, S cos T, the, the, the final one is minus A square minus B square. Uh, I'm trying to see. Yeah, yeah, right, right. That's your time. This times that plus this times that plus C times that's a C here. So, so you can see S dot U is a C. Okay, so just one particular choice. So if, you, if you don't want to go through all these uh, arbitrary choice, you can just, well, most, most of them you just choose this as your formula. <laughs> you can actually do just a choice that. Uh, Automatically set this up this equation. And most likely, uh, this will not be zero, but then uh, this actually not used. As long as they are not proportional to each other, so this, this one and that one is not proportional to each other. So because there, there's a zero here, and as long as a squared plus b squared is not zero, so they will not be proportional to each other. Okay, so that should be fine. So we do not know what what we are talking about. But we are talking about four o seven, page of four o seven. That's uh, more than two. Well, chapter chapter nine.